The first recap of 2020 is coming in hot. Is Minecraft actually ending? And Justin Bieber said what about Tim Hortons? Let's take a big old sip of recap. Hey, it's Maya and this is Buzzed About News I Think You Can Use. Last week, I was shocked to see World War III trending, but then I realized it was a reaction, not a reality. US President Trump authorized an airstrike in Iraq, and that killed senior Iranian leader General Soleimani. Now, Trump said the general was, quote, planning a very big attack on the US, and it was necessary to kill him. Here's the thing, Iran is not formally at war with the US, but they have been enemies for a long time. So did killing the general make life better for Americans? Are people now safer? This week, Iran got back by firing missiles at two major US military bases in Iraq, but no one was injured. What's gonna happen next? Experts are saying that this is not going to end up as World War III. To cope with it all, we of course turn to memes and TikToks. This one made me laugh out loud. But then I remembered this is really no laughing matter at all. There's a lot more to this story and you should visit our website to learn more. Team Trees? A few months back, someone on Reddit said that Mr. B should plant 20 million trees in celebration of reaching 20 million subscribers on YouTube. The idea grew roots and he partnered with Mark Rober to launch a fundraiser. The explainer video went viral and it started a full on movement. $20 million before 2020 to plant 20 million trees. And check. The Team Trees initiative was featured in more than 8,000 videos with YouTubers like PewDiePie, Simply Neological, and Jeffree Star jumping on board. Even Elon Musk donated $1 million. And not to be outdone, Tobias Luke, the CEO of Shopify, donated $1 million and $1. Aw, even Phoebe Groot was watching progress closely. The money is going to the Arbor Day Foundation. The trees will be planted in a variety of needy forests starting this month. Way to go. Minecraft is shutting down. What? Oh, never mind. It's just another internet prank. Let's recap. Last October, Channel 45 News published an article claiming Minecraft would be shutting down their servers in 2020. Now, let me set this straight. Channel 45 is not a legit news source. It gets users to create fake articles to trick their friends on social media. When readers click one of these articles, they're redirected to a page that reveals it's all a prank. But this is the internet. So this story circulated as fact, so much that it was a trending search on Google. Thankfully, people were quick to realize that the headline was a hoax. <laughs> Look everyone, Ariel is here. You just got back from Nicaragua, how was it? It was great, I got to see all my family again and the weather was amazing. Oh, I'm so jealous, but that's not what we're here to talk about. CES is on in Vegas, and you must be loving it. Yeah, the Consumer Electronics Show has been happening since 1967, and thousands of products are announced at the convention. So it's a great week to be a techie. Actually, Ivanka Trump was the keynote speaker this year, but did not kick things off on a high. Her attendance was bashed by pretty much everyone. Why would they even pick her to speak? She was supposed to talk about technology's role in the workforce of the future, but her lack of knowledge with being part of any real workforce did not go over well, and hashtag boycott CES started to trend. People have gotten over that now, so we can get back to the fun stuff. Let's do it. What got you excited? So many attendees had their minds blown with a Delta Airlines exhibit. They're working on a parallel reality digital display that will personalize what you see on screen to you. So when you walk by the screen, you'll see your name, flight information, and boarding status. And if I'm beside you, I'll see my name, flight information, and boarding status. But we're both looking at the same screen. Delta says that when the technology is rolled out, up to 100 travelers will be able to view personalized content on screen at a given time. But how? Technology. The best explanation is multi-view pixels on screen, coupled with cameras tracking you or facial recognition. It feels a bit mysterious right now, so time will tell. Well, we talked about Tesla's Cybertruck a few weeks ago. Its rival is the RT1 by Rivian. 
Yeah, it's backed by Amazon and Ford, and the pictures of crowds surrounding the truck at CES are really cool to see. It's coming to market later this year and has a 400 mile range, plus it can go zero to 60 in three seconds. Also, it can do a 360 degree tank turn from a stationary position. But why? I don't know, Maya. I just don't know. For bragging rights? For fun? I don't really get the practical reason, but it's a pretty cool gimmick for an electric vehicle to have. But one thing that is practical, because it's backed by Amazon, it will come equipped with Alexa. Okay, what else, what else? How about this Avatar-inspired concept car from Mercedes? Thumbs up or down? Thumbs middle, it's kinda cool. What about this updated flying camera from Air Selfies? It can take photos up to 60 feet in the air and eliminates the need for selfie sticks. Thumbs way up, that is cool. It's not really for me, I'm not much of a selfie guy anyway. Do we like this little backpack from Pix? You can customize the LED pixels and display your own drawings or text, but you would be paying more than $200 for a backpack. $200? I don't think so. What she said. All right, I saw the pizza bot. It makes pizza without any human interaction. Yeah, you sent it to me, and I thought it was really cool at first, but then I kind of start to feel bad for all the pizza makers losing their jobs. I just want one in my house. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni. Ugh. What's yours? Olives. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, there's more news and not enough time. So I'm gonna try and get through a rapid fire roundup in just 60 seconds. Let's do this. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have decided to step back from their royal duties and live life like normies. What? There are a lot of questions to be answered. Will they still be a Duke and Duchess? This Twitter user sees it as an end game. Next. Bieber is back. His new song, Yummy, is topping charts. The video racked up more than 27 million views on YouTube in three days. He started a TikTok account last week, and of course it has over two million followers. He just confirmed he has Lyme disease, and his upcoming YouTube docuseries put an unbelievable $20 million in his pocket. And he went viral last week complaining about the new Tim Hortons coffee lids, which led to ridiculous posts like this. 72 OG lids for only $1,440. How vintage. Next, Gene Simmons, frontman of the classic rock band Kiss, started a viral debate last week. He likes to eat his bowl of cereal with ice cubes so the milk stays extra cold. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I did it. Take your cereal back. I did it. All right, everyone. That's it for this week's recap. Come back next week and let's do it all over again. Ish. <laughs>